we're gonna set up the load combining feature um, and this feature allows the boiler to service two separate loads at the same time so that the, uh, the, the pumps or the mixing valves involved will allow two different loads to be serviced with the uh, heat from the boiler simultaneously given certain rules that are being met. I'm going to use an example. We have load one program for domestic hot water, so it's heating your water in your water tank. And the load two in this has already been pre programmed to be a reset heating type of load. So I want to enable the primary load to be the highest temperature load, in which in this case will be the domestic hot water. to set the primary load, I will set, I will use load one, the domestic hot water load, which I've already programmed. So we set it to load one, the domestic hot water load, and that's okay. And we'll do the secondary load, we we'll load two, reset heating, okay. Um, and we'll save that. So this message pops up. This, if you don't see this message, then it's not going to work. But the caution here is that in basic mode, which we are in right now, uh, indicated by the check mark, you have to use mixing valves to mix the the, the, uh, the, the two load sources coming from the boiler. So, given that that's okay, we go yes, and we're done. So we. You can go back and review, you set it up basic mode, primary must be the highest temperature, which is true, that's our domestic hot water load. The uh, load two is the reset heating load. Um, so if we want to use the same two loads, but with, uh, with the basic mode disabled, we can do that. So we have these two load loads, the same rules but we're not going to be using basic mode. This will allow us to just mix based on other parameters. So down here we have the other parameters that you need to consider. Initial delay is in minutes and that will be the amount of time uh, between when the first load Comes, is being serviced and uh, it allows the second load to be serviced. So the domestic hot water needs to be serviced and the reset heating needs to be serviced at the same time. If it's dealing with domestic hot water, then it's going to wait five minutes before it brings on the second load. Similarly with the off delay, it's the time between when the loads look like they should be, uh, they can you can offload one or the other. It will be. It will give you a bit of a delay just to prevent the loads from coming on and off and on and off. Um, there's a retry delay, kind of self-explanatory, and then the maximum throttle percent. So that number there basically is a representation of if you if the boiler is already running more than 75 percent of its full fire, it won't allow second load to be serviced at the same time. Basically there's not enough capacity in the boiler to service two loads simultaneously so it won't allow it to happen unless you're down below that level. You can change any one of these. The initial delay, sometimes you want the initial delay to be a little bit shorter. You can, use, you can set that down to two minutes. Um, off delay five minutes is fine. Retry delay is 10 minutes. Basically, you know, retry would mean it's trying to bring on a load, but it can't because 
of some one of the other restrictions preventing it. So it's going to try again to bring it on in 10 minutes. Um, and quite often you want this 75% uh, to be a little bit higher depending on the load. So um, we can set this high as 90. So now we have set some criteria for our load combining uh, to happen. So we're still using primary load as an hot water, it's the highest temperature load. Setting load two as a reset heating, it's a lower temperature setting. Um, we've changed the initial delay to two minutes and we're allowing the, the, um, the maximum throttle to be 90%. So as long as we're below 90%, the boiler will attempt to, to bring on the second load. Save that and we've used the advanced settings.